we're in the queue at check-in for the P&O ferry. Let's turn the camera around so you can see. Uh, there's a cute little dog there, but... At least there's only three cars. Uh, Ten minutes have passed and we're still in the effing queue. The cute dog is still in front of me. Oh, he's going. That means we're going. We're on board the ferry now. Uh, the light's just gone off, but the cars are absolutely rammed everywhere. And that's a pain in the rear end because I don't want to get my car scratched. I've been walking for what feels like absolutely miles. This place is just massive. And now I'm feeling slightly knackered, so I'm going to have to stop. Somewhere off the coast of Holland. We're just coming into Rotterdam now. I don't know if you can make out the cranes in the distance. If you're wondering what you can do on a B&O ferry, behind me is one of the bars. There's a Starbucks. There's an off license. There's an Irish bar. There's a ubiquitous overpriced travel shop complete with milk a cow. Behind me is the all you can eat for five quid breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's designed to make you fat and have a heart attack on plate. And another bar. It's a beautiful day and we're in Holland. I'm going to spin the camera around or spin me around. And that's rotted out behind me. So behind me, you can probably see a load of chain smokers, but behind them, that is Europort in Rotterdam. And that is massive. It is about 50 kilometers of harbourside dock and lots of boats, lots of industry. It's just absolutely enormous. And beanie fans, and welcome to Minehattan. Yes, Frankfurt and mine. Today is the day of the Eurobike show. So we're gonna do a day in the life of knobhead engineer goes to Eurobike. First of all, it's time to go running. At 23 degrees outside, it's not even seven o'clock. Uh, that's done, next stop, tram station. Right folks, while well, we're here, with all the chaos and the Kobe super spreader event. Yeah, come on, yeah, come on, yeah. yeah. come in there. Are we six years old? Year four, yeah. four. Yeah. four. Yeah. Okay. Right, Hambini fans, I haven't done the intro today because I found Frankfurt's I'm not even going to describe what these fine individual men are like. In fact, I can't even call them men because I don't know they are men. I've made that assumption and because we're in snowflake land, I can't really say any more than that. Anyway, what do you guys want to say? Go fuck yourself, everybody. That is not what the intro was supposed to be like. <laughs> You're such a wanker. You're such a wanker. <laughs> I've never had so much abuse. Your seat's too high. <laughs> your yes. seat's too high. Your seat's too high and you pull up on your pedals. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hambini fans. God, I scared everyone there, look. Hello. <laughs> it's from Windspace. Steve. So Steve from Windspace, and we're obviously here at the Windspace stand, and he's got his new wheels, which are these ones. So let's pop that in here. Mega? Mega wheels. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting thing on these wheels are, if I turn this round, we've got carbon spokes into a carbon flange and then hub. So on here, there's five, and they look like maybe T20, T25? Yes. Um, yeah, so there's the... Like this way. So that's hollow, it. Uh, hollow integrated carbon fiber spokes. So yeah, so if you break a spoke, you change that entire panel mm -hmm. and then your wheel's still good to go. So the, the hub and the spokes are kind of separate, but you will be changing, what is it, 20, 16 spokes, however many it is. Um, well, I mean, one thing I can say about this wheel is when I pick it up, it's extremely light, very light and fat bladed spokes. Um, anything else you want to say, Steve? Uh, I want to say they are also the new hub is for the ratchet, ratchet hub. So it's the difference from the Hyperwine. Hyperwine is the panel. This one is the ratchet. It's also our new structure. Okay. So the st uh, ceramic, uh, ceramic uh, uh, hub, so it's uh, quite smooth. Okay, okay. perfect. So these are the new Windspace hubs, um, ratchet design. Interestingly, they're not push fit end caps anymore. They're actually um, screwed on. So you've got the flats there to go through. Um, where's the back one? Oh, yeah. yeah. So same deal on this side. 
um, flat drive is obviously disc these days and then conventional or semi-conventional um, spokes to go through versus the the mega ones which have a well basically a, a flange that's round there and then the things bolt through to there greetings hambini fans from the deck here at Eurobike and we've got test test Harrison hello Richard. Richard from Princeton Carbon Works, their slogan being, fuck SRAM. <laughs> Unofficially. <laughs> fuck official. Fuck SRAM. <laughs> this is so gonna get demonetized. Anyway, what are you two guys here doing other than... We, ha we have meetings planned with like some of our customers. This is sort of the hub. This is where everyone meets for bike stuff. So. We were walking the show and we saw an oddly tall, oddly tall Indian man, and I said, "Wait a minute, Sri Lankan, Sri Lankan man." And uh, well, that, said, that will be like me calling you Canadian. I'm pretty close. We're close. <laughs> and uh, we saw this tall guy, and I said, "That's him, Vini." And we grabbed him, and he said, "Come on our show." And I said, "I'm sweating." And that everybody has pointed out how tall Hambini is. <laughs> He's really tall. No, seriously, look at how tall he is. I mean, he's got to oh, be 6'2". No, 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 no. I'm not 6'2". He's two. at least 6'2". Peak talk's coming soon. I don't know where the fuck he is. Just, well, yeah, right, we'll see. Beers later. Yeah, so we'll have beers. And then Cheers. hookers, hookers. Cheers. FKK, FKK, Mine Happen will be there today. Now, due to my rock star status, or, you know, with a set of crosshairs on my back, then everyone keeps stopping me and going, hello, Hambini fans. Just so excited. Hi right then fans, we find ourselves at the Magic Shine stand with Rebecca. <laughs> oh hi, hi I'm Rebecca from Magic Shine. So happy to meet you at Eurobike. <laughs> anyway, she she clobbered me as I was walking down the uh, the aisle there to give us a well, she took a pictures <laughs> of their new light and everyone loves a light. So this is it. It's the Montier 12,000. So how many lumens is it, Rebecca? Oh, I introduced our Montier 20,000 lumens. Montier 20,000. Yeah, our most powerful mountain bike light. Yes. I use it on the road, but there we go. So I use it on the road, but there we go. Right, let's have a look at it. Yeah, yeah. So you see, the, this is our new battery. And also we have some... So, okay, okay. So you see, our this is our battery pack compared to our old one, the A thousand. We have ten many upgrade. So currently, we upgraded to one very integrated uh, cable, yep. and it's most powerful. It can support a uh, higher output. Yep. Yeah. So this one and it's twenty thousand lumens. Also, you see for the handlebar, we also upgrade. It's more steady. And of course, no, 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 no need to mention the remote control. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's it. Fine. Yes. Right then, folks, we are here at Aero Optim with Ren, who nice works for you. the Japanese wind tunnel manufacturer. And he's going to talk us through exactly how this works. So, do you want to take it away? Okay. Uh, this is a one eighth model of our product. Uh, they, they are wind tunnels, very short end wind tunnel, yep. which generates uh, almost straight wind. So you've got the flow straighteners here? Yeah. Yep. The maximum wind speed is around 54 km per hour. Okay, that's fast. Uh, uh, this is a measurement table. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can measure the drag of aerodynamic drag yep. of the bicycle itself or with riders. Yep. Then you can check the how much watt uh, of drugs uh, is your uh, position, running position maze. This is an example data. Uh, this is me. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, see, I'm, since I'm not a professional cyclist, I generate a lot of air, uh, drug. But, uh, for example, when I ha ha uh, Rip the drop, drop handle, handle bar, yeah. I can reduce the drag by 20 to watts. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's almost 10%, isn't it? Yes. So. 
Oh. And here, is this the clothing? Yeah. So uh, windbreaker adds windbreakers. 42 watts. Yeah. And then with a water bottle, is 4 watts. So what's the target market that you have for it? Uh, we, first we, at first we established this company, uh, we targeted the bicycle manufacturers and related industries. Okay. Uh, so in this Eurobike show, um, many manufacturers are visiting our booth yep. to uh, thinking about the illustration of this product. And these days, uh, many professional and amateur cyclists want to ma measure their drug, with drug by themselves. Yep. So we established a model case of a testing center in Japan. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, around the Fuji, Mount Fuji. Uh, so you've got. It looks like a modular concept. So you've got two, three there. And then, how uh, much does it cost if someone wants to buy one? Buy one. Uh, very basic model. Uh, yeah. This uh, configuration costs around two hundred twenty-five thousand euro. Okay. And this advanced. Uh, Twin bigger one. Yeah, advanced model costs around. Uh, Five hundred twenty thousand euro. Okay. Yeah. Just to give you a bit of context, folks, that is extremely cheap for a wind tunnel. Normal wind tunnels cost way more than that. But this, you can put in a warehouse and then run it up, so it's quite cost effective. Right, Hambini fans, we are over here at Majin with Katie from Majin and her helper, who's just taking pictures of me all the time. Right. Hello, everyone. So, everyone knows I like bike lights. This, just took a bit of my eye, you can have a look. These, so we've got these lights, which apparently are not available in Europe or anywhere outside of China. Uh, this week launched in China, and uh, maybe the, uh, the end of September or October, okay. we will launch in Europe. So, you can program in whatever emoji you want. So, there's a few here. Yes, you can design whatever you want by the app's one fit. So uh, it's very uh, engagement with your uh, your peloton. Yeah. And then we've got this one, which is the radar light. So a few of you will probably be familiar with that one. Does this switch on or is it flat? Oh, it does. Death touch there. So when something's coming towards you, that. That changes, doesn't it? Oh yeah, there we go. So again, if you're um, in the UK and then don't want to get one over, that's well worth a look. So this is the smart bike computer. So it's colour screen, touch screen. Yes. And it really does look, the chisels to be honest, look at the quality of the map. Yes, it also has the roadmap room room function. Um, we will and launch the, the display on there does look amazing to be honest. Yes. Very good. We will launch this one in the end of the year. Okay. So uh, it also supports the uh, Wi-Fi features. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. And now we are over at <laughs> Yeah. Oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Come on, okay. go on. Show it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're over at at the wall of cranksets yes. and we're going to get talk through them so go for it okay so hello everyone here uh, is our power meters actually we are providing like crank based power meter and spider based power meter here you can see three products all of them are power uh, spider pay based power meter you can see here and here spider power meter with the cranks and also with the chain ring so we are providing the whole um, chain, ring, uh, chain set but you can also just buy the spider with the crank with the cranks and we have three um, series from uh, entry level P pes yep. so the name here is pes p505 base the base here means okay the power qc is 1.5 and it's the shimano spindle so it's 24 millimeters. There we yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. The the spindle specs here. So that that is um, 24 mil BB86 or BSA. Whatever yes. You want to put. The thing I notice about this is whoever's made this has uh, gone to great lengths to do some drilling on the back to reduce the weight. 
Mm -hmm. uh, that actually feels extremely well made. Yes. And also with this one, we have a lot of options here. Yep. So here is the lens of the crank. Yep. We have five uh, options. I, I think it's a lot. And also we have the different options for the chain rings. 110 BCD. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this is the entry level. Yep. It's very, uh, the price is compatible okay. and the function is perfect. And here we come to the middle level. So it's the name is QED. Here you can see uh, the spider here, the power accuracy is higher, uh, is better. It's one. And uh, similar, we have the, uh, a lot of options for cranks. And the spindle here is the DOB. Is okay. this one? So it's the SRAM. SRAM the one, element. exactly. And this one is up top top uh, series. So it's TEO, the crank. And also the chain ring in the future is carbon. All of the, uh, them are carbon one. Wow. So it will be light. super light. That's really light. Yeah, very, very light. And also the spindle here for this model is also DUB. Okay. Yes, exactly. So these are our models, uh, different models of the power meter. That's, uh, that's quite something. Yeah, quite something. Yeah. So we've got this display here. Do you want to talk us through this one? Yeah. Okay, so the things you see here is for the smart cycling ecosystem. So let me see how it works. Actually, there are, are two sides. For this side, so here is a front light, a rear light, and together with a back computer. Uh, our smart ecosystem allows you to send on your uh, computer, let, let to see, okay, if you are riding exceed one certain speed, the front, uh, the front light and the rear light will turn on automatically. Okay. Okay. So you can see here, okay, it's uh, 1.8. Uh, then let's see, okay, when it's higher than 10, this, oh, okay, you can see, they turn on. Yeah. Yeah, that is how it works. So this is the first set. The second set is this one. The unbent hurry sensor. You can take you can take it on your okay, you can just feel it. Okay, so this one. Okay, when a car is coming yep. uh, uh, behind you, okay, the this is a radar tail light, it will be okay, high blinking, and also there will be a red signal on your by computer to tell you, okay, there's a car coming. But in the same time, this one, can you feel it? Yeah, yeah, yes, it's, it's yeah. It's right okay, here. it's breathing and it's also tell you, okay, there's a car coming. You don't need to, okay, to look at the display or to, okay, watch back. Okay, so you can just feel it. You can feel the car is coming. So these are just two examples. Actually, we can do much, much more. Yes, yes. I mean, to be honest, people, that is actually really good. Whoever thought of that was that a really good idea because it's spooky. It just sort of starts to vibrate um, as, as the car's coming. And now we are over in Turbo Trainer Land, and we've got here T three hundred Turbo. Now you might think, well, what about that? Not a lot, but it also comes with its own software, which it does look pretty slick to be honest it's almost like yeah. swift but on steroids it really does look the shit right so we get to find out how much power i've got which is not a lot oh 243 oh. you can also like feel that this is ridiculous i'm gonna break out into sweat here the camera lady taking pictures of me look <laughs> I mean, I've never had this much fun riding the bike. Well. Now this caught my eye. This could be a complete game changer. So this is wireless shifting, but with a catch. It uses just a cable derailleur with an actuator. So this is actuated by this cable. So that's all that's doing. This control box is just there to provide it power, but the actuation is through there. So I've made it over here to the look stand and Lux's wheel brand is called Corriman. So we've got another variation on the carbon wheels. These are incredible. Carbon spokes. I don't think you can use or replace these ones. No, you can't. So if you break one of them, you're screwed. 
that ratchet hub, disc brake, same thing down there, the same thing. Tri spoke, Corima, made in France, so it costs a bomb. And a Corima disc, that looks like a track hub. This is the Lux e bike. Um, French manufacture, so it's obviously the best. And then it's a Fazua electric system, electric drive, mid drive. E765. Right, you join me with Calvin from Part 2. I've just been given the sweetest gift in my life the, a new bottom bracket. I have to go buy a bike now to fit just it. so I, I can say I'm riding this. Ride the very best, ride Hambini. Yep. <laughs> oh, look what I found. What's a garbage? Look at that. Bendy. Whoa. Then we've got some overpriced brake pads. Oh, and another one of these. Oh. 499 euros. Oops. Better make a swift exit. Pick it up as we go along. Right, some random punter at the absolute crap stand. <laughs> I said that, he didn't. Wanted to record a shout out, so here we go, Ludwig. Servus, Hambini fans. Right then, peeps, this is the media and creator lounge where media people, that includes me, for one, some odd reason, I am the media. Um, get to record stuff. So all the people here are from the media. No idea what they're going to say, but we'll see.